वेलकम चिल्ड्रेन टू द वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑफ सोशल साइंस स्टैंडर्ड नाइन दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर एटीन वाइल्ड लाइफ इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर्स वी स्टडीड अबाउट वॉट इज वाइल्ड लाइफ राइट हाउ मेनी स्पीशीज ऑफ वाइल्ड लाइफ आर अवेलेबल इन टू इंडिया देन वी ऑल्सो स्टडीड अबाउट द जू जियोलॉजिकल रीजन्स ऑफ India there are nine zones they are categorized into nine zones and we studied about them which are the nine zones that are marked as the zoo geological regions we also saw about the diversified wildlife of india which kind of or what animals which animals are found at what places we also saw into details about it then we saw about the wildlife and need of the conservation why we should conserve wildlife why they are important why what is the connection of wildlife along with the need to conserve them okay how they are very important for the human beings that we saw okay along with that we saw important national parks and sanctuaries we saw the difference between national park and sanctuaries at the same time we also saw some of the important national parks and sanctuaries and what are the animals which are protected into this particular national parks and sanctuaries then we also saw the map related to the national park and wild sanctuaries okay then we saw about the dangers of wildlife what are the dangers of the wildlife how it is connected it is into a chain that one section of animals get affected the other will also be affected so the dangers to the wildlife also will seen we also saw about some of the facts related to gujarat then we saw the remedies to conserve wildlife what are the remedies what are the solutions with which we can conserve wildlife today we will see about the steps taken what steps have been taken till now by the government to conserve the wildlife let us see since early times laws have been framed in our country to protect the wildlife laws were framed to protect wildlife in the time of great maurya king ashoka during the time of ashoka also there were laws framed anyone who would kill the wildlife would be punished at that time also okay so you can see that wildlife have been uh, protected okay they are under protection from a very very old time fundamental duties of citizens and directive principle of constitution also include this things okay into your books if you will check out the first page let me just take out for you on your page number 3 you might see about fundamental duties okay in fundamental duties if you see point number 6 g that is your g you will see here to protect and improve the natural environment including forests it is our fundamental duty to protect and improve the natural environment that forest what are included in forest lake should be protected rivers and wildlife see wildlife should also be protected and we should not destroy it at the same time and to have compassion for living creature we should have compassion towards living creature we should not kill them we should not destroy the habitat that they are living we should not destroy the places or of their grazing or hunting and we should see that the interference of human being into the life of wildlife should be as minimum as possible right so it is also included into our fundamental duties and we should do the our fundamental duties as honestly as possible so getting back to our lesson see it is also included into our fundamental duties parliament has passed the wildlife conservation act see parliament has passed the wildlife conservation act according to the recommendation of indian wildlife board in 2014 right okay that was passed now in 2014 there were 503 sanctuaries in india 100 two national parks and 40 bio reserves into it out of these 22 sanctuaries four national park and one bio reserves happened to be in gujarat okay so 
वन जीरो टू एंड फोर्टीन इन टू इंडिया एंड आउट ऑफ दैट ट्वेंटी टू फोर वन इन टू गुजरात सम प्रोटेक्शन स्कीम्स आर प्लान फॉर दो स्पीशीज विच आर ऑन द वर्ज ऑफ एक्सीडेंसी देर आर प्रोटेक्शन स्कीम्स ऑल्सो फॉर द स्पीशीज विच आर ऑन द वर्ज ऑफ एक्सटिंक्शन सो लेट अस चेक दे फर्स्ट वन इज टाइगर प्रोजेक्ट ओके द फर्स्ट इज टाइगर प्रोजेक्ट दिस प्रोजेक्ट वॉज लॉन्च इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री रिमेंबर द डेट टाइगर प्रोजेक्ट वॉज लॉन्च इन द इयर नाइनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री against hunting and decreasing number of tigers already we have seen that in before 100 years the number of tigers was in 2000 but now that is just round about 2500 so that is a very very uh, pathetic thing that we can think about so for protecting of this wild animal in 1973 this project was launched this was implemented for nine reserve areas under which 48 areas were covered and the this is basically a project implemented in areas where tiger is found and it was prohibited to hunt it and anyone hunting it would be under legal steps taken against him so wildlife project tiger was basically crafted for the protection of the tiger second was lion project lion project this was a time when asiatic lion were found up to iran in asia subcontinent due to the hunting and reduction in forest area these lions are now restricted to gate okay previously they were found up to afghanistan and iran but now they are only limited to a very small area in gate in saurashtra at one stage their number had gone below 100 see it was below 100 in 1972 project was started in gir to protect wild animals so 73 and 72 as a result of this project and the timely st- taken steps the number have now increased to 523 according to census of 2019 and see okay so there were 523 lions in gujarat as per 2015 and it is a good thing that as per 2019 there is a increase of 29 percentage 29 percentage increase in population of tigers have been remarketed as per 2003 and right now there are 674 lions into the forest of gir and that is a very good thing for india that there is a increase in the number of lion and that is all due to the steps taken for the protection of the lions and the reforms that are implemented by the government in addition to this there are other projects also major projects among them are hangul project now the hangul project hangul is a type of deer you need to remember it is type of a deer okay and hangul project was started basically into 1980s this was started into 19 it is to protect the hangul deer type of hangul deer it is red color deer found into the himalayas right for the rare species of bar singa that is a type of deer into kashmir okay next comes crocodile project crocodile project for saline water crocodile okay now crocodile project was started in the year 1975 okay to protect the saline water crocodile the third project or the major project rhino project which was to protect the one on rhino in assam it was started on world rhino day that is 22nd september okay 2011 so it was started in 2011 on world rhino day 22nd september is celebrated as world rhino day okay so it was started on this particular day to commemorate that particular right and the snow leopard okay snow leopard this project was started in the year 2009 to protect the snow leopards which are found in basically into himalayas right so you can see along with project tiger lion project and some of the other projects are also carried out 
for the protection of the wildlife. Now let us see further. Wildlife sanctuaries is wildlife conservation is possible only if the sanctuary and the society and the government shows form determination. Not only government but also society and the government shows form determination to take steps in right direction. Along with development, we should have to be dedicated to confirm our motto of environment preservation. See, also we need to see that it is included into a fundamental duty to conserve the wildlife. Okay. Now let us see about the national parks of Gujarat. How many national parks are there into Gujarat that we are going to see? The first is Gir National Park. It was established in the year 1975. Okay, the area is round about 258 square kilometers. Which district it is in Chunagar? And what are the major animals? Lion, leopard, chintal, hyena, antelope. That is type of deer, chinkara and crocodile. Second is Blackberg National Park. Established in the year 1976. Area 34 square kilometer. Bhavnagar district and mainly it is established to conserve black bug, wolf, okay, cardboard and bustard. The third one is Vansad National Park established in the year 1979. 23 means 24 square kilometers into Nausari mainly for leopard, hyena, chintal and Chausinga, Chausinga means Char Singha, right? And the fourth one is the Marine National Park. Okay, it is the only Marine National Park of India. 1982, 162 square kilometers, Gulf of Kutch, Jamnagar. It is also known as Pirotan Island. Okay, which is off the coast to Jamnagar. Seahorse, corals, jelly, fish, octopus, oysters, dolphins, and then, then there are also known as sea cows. Right? So, this is the only marine national park of India which is situated in Gujarat. And that is a very, very good place to visit. But without permission of wildlife, you cannot visit that particular place. So, uh, with this we complete our chapter hope you understood it go through each and every video lecture understand each and every line read the whole textbook for better understanding